private Facebook group. I want you to tag a friend. I want you to text this. Text this in the group chat. If you are watching this and you have Instagram, do a screenshot and add me on Instagram at E period Dean Cole. Make sure that you add me so that I can see the support, okay, one, show the support, two, and show three, the love. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ask your questions below. After you ask your questions, make sure that you share this. Share this on Facebook. Share this in a group chat. Share this right now with your baby dad, with your baby mama. <laughs> share this with your wife. Share this with somebody who you know that wants to know how to build their business credit. Share this with somebody who wants to know how they can better their lives through entrepreneurship. This channel is dedicated to economic empowerment through entrepreneurship. Share this to anybody who is interested in going and growing their business. Share this with them right now. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get ready to go live. Are you ready? Do you have your question asked? Did you ask your question below in the chat? Are you ready? Did you share this? Did you share this on your Facebook? Did you share this in a private group? Did you share this on Instagram? Are you ready, one, two, Are you ready three, to be a four, participant five, and not six, just a spectator? Seven, eight. social media socialites look we are about to go live in a few moments but before we go live i need all of you guys to hit that like button right now if you're watching and you're waiting go ahead and be a participant don't just be a spectator hit that like button and share this share this on your facebook Share this in a private Facebook group. I want you to tag a friend. I want you to text this. Text this in a group chat. If you are watching this and you have Instagram, do a screenshot and add me on Instagram at E period Dean Cole. Make sure that you add me so that I can see the support, one, show the support, two, and show three, the love. Four, five, six, seven, eight. live welcome to money making motivation i'm your host e dean cole and i am hi precious okay and i am live we are live okay <laughs> if you are watching for the first time and you don't know who i am my name is e dean cole i am a business coach i am a life coach i am a best-selling author i you've seen one of my videos before but you did not subscribe or thing number two, you did subscribe, but you did not hit that notification bell. So it's very important that you hit that notification bell. All right, let's go ahead and um, get this started. I see we got some trolls in the building. Thanks so much. Io is in the building. She is in the building and she is on her thing. So let's see how I'm sounding. Let me check my own sound. Let's see how we doing. Okay, we sound good and we look good. Okay, we Gucci. That's good stuff. All right, awesome. So we are in the building, guys. So. If you are watching this on the replay and you are not participating with this live conversation, this is a live um, call-in show. So I am going to be teaching live 
I'm going to be answering your phone calls. I'm going to open up the phone lines, but also I'm going to do some some conscious commentary as well. So I'm going to um, do some commentary. A lot of you guys said that you guys like to hear my point of view and my thoughts on some things. So we're going to go over some breaking news um, in the finance industry. So if you did not get the notification, um, make sure you text the word funding. All right. If you did not get the notification, text the word funding 101, the phrase funding 101 to 833-934-1328. That's 833-934-1328. Make sure you text the word funding to 834-934-1828. And um, yeah, 19... 38 and you will make sure that you are not left out of the loop guys let's see who is all is watching in the building so um we see how many people we got watching live yep so text the word funding 101 to 833-934-1328 and you will make sure that you're able to catch me live if for some reason you're not getting that notification on youtube all right because sometimes youtube be tripping what's going on we got dominique griffin is in the building hey dominique how are you doing we got zoe cole is in the building hey appreciate it. how you doing <laughs> say don't be a hater that's well baby listen um if, if you ain't got no haters you ain't popping baby we're gonna have some people hating on me but it's all right precious they 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 just that just haters all right so make sure you subscribe and after you subscribe hit that notification bell so when i am live you are notified if you are watching and you want to participate so i'm going to open up the phone lines guys in a moment let's see how many people we have watching live let's see how many people we have watching live and let's see who is all in the building and we had some people that were actually some of the first ones to comment let's see let's get these comments together and this is a live lecture guys so we're in the building. Okay, we got Nicholas is in the building. Hey, Nicholas, how are you doing? Mr. Lewin is in the building. Um, hey, Mr. Lewin, how are you doing? William Tharp is in the building. Hey, Will, KD84 is in the building. Matt Lowe is in the building. How are you doing? All right, now, if you are watching for the first time, I want you to say first time, all right? If you're watching for the first time, I want you to say first time. If you are a client of mine and you're enrolled into any of the courses, I want you to say client. Or if you've hired me for coaching, I want you to say um, client. Or if you're not enrolled into any other courses and this is not you're not watching for the first time and you're a subscriber, I just want you to say family. Let's do a temperature check to see who is all in the building. All right. And like I mentioned, I'm going to open up the phone lines a little later. I'm going to do some conscious commentary talking about two very important things that are important in the finance industry. Well, the way that we're doing is we're going to we're going to start off by doing breaking news. I'm going to talk about something that's trending in the finance world and in and business is breaking news, how it pertains to you. We're going to talk about that. Then after that, I'm going to open up your phone lines. All right. And see who's watching. OK, we got some we got um, Coolidge Trinsdale is watching for the first time. Hey, Coolidge, how are you doing today? We got um, a lot of family in the building, a lot of clients in the building. All right, all of you guys hit that like button and hit that share button right now. Miss Jones is in the building. Hey, Mrs. Jones, how are you doing? Um, let's see who else. We have um, O'Shea Strong is a client. Hey, O'Shea, how are you doing? Tyreek Ford is a client. Hey, Tyreek, how are you doing? We have Paul Williams is family. We got Zoe Cole is family. We got KD84 is family. How are you doing today? Let's get that troll up out of there. Um, they make different accounts <laughs> just so that they can go ahead and and um, try to troll. But it's OK, because guess what? On the replay, they're not going to be there. All right. So we got Michael Lang is in the building. Hey, Michael Lang, how are you doing? All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this troll up out of there. Thank you so much for that. Roy Thomas is watching for the first time. Hey, Roy, how are you doing today? We got Brian as a client. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? So let's go ahead and get into this. All right. Let's see how many people we got watching live. Let's do a temperature check and see where we are. And we are going to get into this. I'm going to open up the phone lines and I'm going to answer your questions about business, business credit, credit restoration, credit repair, anything. Even if you want to talk about the trending topics that we're going to go over today. We have a total of 98 people watching live. Okay, that's good. We have 98 people watching live. Let's see how many thumbs up we got. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's look at these analytics. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I don't do this for play. I do this for pay. We have 102 people watching live. All right, we have 32 thumbs up and only two thumbs down. Come on, guys. Let's get those thumbs up going. So everybody, all 90, all 102 of you guys hit that thumbs up button right now. Go ahead and show some love. As you guys see those haters are in the building. Listen, and like I said, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You understand me? So we stay popping over here. So we're going to have some haters. All right. <laughs> we're going to have some haters. All right. So let's go ahead and let's talk about some of the breaking news 
and the trending topics. Now, did you guys notice or did you guys see that the company Celadon went bankrupt? Did you guys know that? So the company Celadon, the first topic we're going to talk about today is Celadon. Celadon went bankrupt. Did you guys see that? If you see, if you saw it, I want you to say saw it. If you didn't see, I want you to say didn't see. If you know what Celadon is, I want you to say I know. If you don't know what Celadon is, I want you to say don't know. Now, this is we're talking about financial news, things that are trending and how it pertains to you. Now, a lot of our clients are in the trucking industry. Not all of our clients are in this trucking industry. However, a lot of our clients are. And so Celadon is one of the top um, Celadon is actually one of the, the um, top trucking industries that are filing bankrupt, and it is it's crazy. Now, I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to talk about how it pertains to you. Now, it's very important for you to understand what season of entrepreneurship you're in. And I talk about this all the time. I talk about understanding the seasons of entrepreneurship. There are two seasons for entrepreneurship most, most times. There, well, there's, there's more. There are more than two seasons, but most of the time when I'm dealing with my clients and I'm doing coaching and whatnot, there are two main seasons we talk about. Your building phase as well as your maintenance phase, okay? Now, what happened is Celadon got caught in the, in the crossfire in the mix of things. And, and, and let me break it down and let me explain um, what happened. So this was breaking news today. Celadon files bankruptcies Files Celadon files bankruptcy, <laughs> shuts down all operations affecting thousands of drivers. And I'm going to speak directly to the drivers that are watching. And it's very important. If you know someone that's a Celadon driver, I want you to share this with them as well, because I'm going to speak truth to power and I'm going to break it down. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to teach so you can understand and you can know what um, what you can learn from this. All right. Now, like I mentioned, once again, we're going I'm to I'm pause, put a pin so I can pause parenthetically. But in the back of your mind, I want you to remember there are two seasons. There are mostly two seasons for entrepreneurship. There's the building phase and there's the maintenance phase. And they got crossed. And I'm going to explain it to you in a moment. OK, I'm about to explain it. Now, remember, guys, everybody hit that like button. So once we have 100 likes, I'm going to open up the phone lines and I'm going to answer your questions. And if you want to talk to me about this, we'll be able to allow you to talk about this as well. So in Indianapolis, Indiana, one of America's biggest trucking firms, um, Celadon filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy early Monday morning. They shut down all business operations, which affected over 4,000 employees. This is something that happened to me two times. This happened to me twice. It happened to me when I worked for a company called MCI Worldcom, which actually catapulted me into um, banking and finance. And then the second time was when I was working for a company that was called, um, oh, shoot, what was the name of that company? Oh, um, Ace Mortgage out of Atlanta, Georgia. I worked for two companies that filed bankruptcy, and those experiences taught me what I'm going to teach you guys today. All right. Now, um, this comes after the company was rocked last week when the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Indiana, Josh Minkler, announced two top executives, former chief operating officer, the, the, C, um, the COO, the chief operating officer, William Eric Meek, and the CFO, Chief Financial Officer, Bobby Lee, faced federal fraud charges in connection with the scheme. They robbed shareholders of 60 million stock, of stock value. Now, let me break this down. And let, me, let me explain this for a moment, okay? I got to get big on the screen when I explain this. Um, give, me, give me a second, all right? I got to get big on the screen when I explain this. Now, now listen, guys. In your, when you're building a corporation, there are three individuals you have to, excuse me, there are four individuals you have to have, all right? There are four individuals you have to have. You have to have a CEO, Chief Operating Officer. You have to have a CFO. You have to have, uh, which is a Chief Financial Officer. And you have to have a COO, Chief Operating Officer, and or a Secretary. So a Chief Operating Officer and Secretary, they do simultaneous. Now watch this. When you are a mom and pop shop when you're your own self starting a brand new business like say for instance if you say dean i want to start my business tomorrow and you want to incorporate yourself 
you are legally able to have all four of those titles. You're legally able to have all four of those titles. However, this is important because if you notice, there are two people that were indicted. It was the chief financial officer, the chief operating officer. The CEO was not indicted. The reason why I say that is because when you're building your business, it's important for you to know who your team is. Watch this. If you're watching me on the replay right now, and if you've ever been in business with somebody and they took advantage of you, or if you've ever been in business with somebody and they stole from you, I want you to say they tried it. Three words. They tried it. I actually spoke with somebody today who wants to who wanted to come on to do our social media marketing. And so he wanted to do a contingency thing. And I talked to him a couple of times and he was very unprofessional and it felt as if he was trying to lean on the fact that we're both in the travel community because we travel and and lean on the fact that we we're both African-American, but not not rest on his laurels as a professional. He's very, very good at what he does, but it made me very uncomfortable with his unprofessionalism because I built this business from scratch. I protected it. You know, understand what I'm saying? I got blood, sweat, tears and years in this thing. So you have to be careful of who you allow to be in your in your circle. So the first person to participate, um, first person to participate was Michael Lang. Michael said they tried it. Thanks so much for participating, Michael. Who else is, is in here? Who else um, tried it? Who else has been in business with somebody where they either stole from you or they tried to take advantage of you? So remember, I am using this as an opportunity to teach so that I can show you how it can apply to you. Remember, there were there are two main phases of entrepreneurship. The main phase of entrepreneurship is the growing phase and then it's the building phase, okay? The growing phase and the building phase. All right, is Michael Lang the only person? All right, thanks so much for that. Um, Dominique says that yes, you understand completely to the fullest, okay, awesome. I want you guys to participate with me because I feed off of your energy, all right? Now, now let's break this down, okay? Now the now the difference between me and other commentators and coming and um, the people who do commentary is that as a business coach, I have E and O insurance, so I am bound by what I say. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I'm very specific when I when I when I say what I'm about to explain to you. They got in trouble because they were doing something in their building phase that they that they should not have done in their maintenance phase. I'm going to explain this. So the two individuals that got in trouble were the CFO, the chief financial officer and the chief operating officer. Now, I'm going to allow you guys to see specifically here directly from the attorney general in Indianapolis what happened and what, what what was the actual issue they brought them up on these charges these are the issues so that you guys can understand exactly what's going on the celadon executives uh, allegedly wanted to now you guys see the disclaimer so youtube you see the copyright disclaimer it's fair use so i'm using this as an opportunity to teach here we go the celadon executives uh, allegedly wanted to keep quiet that by mid-2016, a uh, substantial portion of their key assets, uh, in this case trucks, uh, particularly the ones housed in their uh, quality, uh, Saldon's quality division, had declined in value. Uh, they had declined in value by tens of millions of dollars. As alleged in the indictment, there were, there were some reasons for that. One was the market uh, for trucks. Uh, one was uh, the quality of the trucks, but at the end of the day, the, the, the value of the trucks you guys had this okay? uh, declined in value by tens of millions of dollars. Um, so Celadon keeps accounting records. Uh, we refer to those as the books uh, that accountants uh, look at. They look at the books, and those books did not uh, reflect that drop in value. Uh, so although uh, shareholders and the investing public did not know it, uh, figures, their books on their financial reports were artificially inflated. The, the value of the company was higher than it actually was. Instead of, as alleged in the indictment, instead of doing what they're supposed to do, which is to correct the accounting records, uh, Meek, 
Peebler and others uh, allegedly concocted a scheme uh, to keep uh, the trucks on Celadine's books at an inflated value that the company had previously reported, the wrong value. Uh, that scheme involved trading away hundreds of its older and unused trucks to a large truck dealer in exchange for newer trucks. And even though they were actually just swapping trucks, Meek, Peebler, and others papered up the transactions as independent pur purchases and sales of trucks, so break it down each so with their own invoices. And these intentionally inflated prices, or artificially inflated prices, I should say, on the invoices, they did this so Celadon's books would not reflect the fact that Celadon's trucks were worth significantly less than previously reported to investors. So that's how they were able, as alleged in the indictment, to head to hide these flaws. This is a long video. And when this all came uh, to fruition, when the account was got plotted, this on loop. <laughs> All right, I had it on loop. I apologize for that, guys. That was a long video. All right, so nevertheless, you guys saw or you guys heard the attorney general. So let me explain to you guys what happened in layman's term and how it relates to you. All right, let me explain to you guys in layman's term and how this relates to you. What Celadon did is what every single business does. A lot, oftentimes when people are entrepreneurs, they always, quote unquote, cook the books. Just being 100% honest. What most entrepreneurs do is they take more losses than gains. A lot of them either make zero money at the end of the year. They either they take a loss or they break even. If you guys understand this, if you get this, that a good, a good uh, CPA that's worth their weight in salt will allow you to either take a loss or break even. If you guys... Understand that I want you to say got it if it's you if you are an entrepreneur and you are an owner operator Or if you have a hair salon or a training business or whatever and every single year you either break even or take a loss I want you to say I do it three words. I do it So if you understand it and you and whether you do it or not say I want you to say understand if you do it I want you to say I do it. I want you to participate with me. Okay guys now. This is live now Like I said, I'm gonna open up the phone lines so allow you guys to call in and talk about this as well. But all right, Willie was the first person to participate. Thanks so much for that, Willie. Bro Joe says, got it. Thanks so much for that. Renee Spence says, got it. All right, Ronnie Wells says, got it. Thank you so much for that. Byron says, got it. Thank you very much for that. Got it. You guys understand it. Now, it is 100% legal. It is not illegal at all for you to play the role and the game of an entrepreneur. It is your job, all right? It is your job as a as a a a business owner to utilize what is um there for you all right <clears throat> so what happens is that to make it long to make a long story short what the coo and the cfo did is what any business does they looked at their trucks and they say that the trucks depreciated in value but the problem is they remember there are two phases for entrepreneurship there is the building phase and then there is the maintenance phase. So the problem is in the building, in, 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 the, in the maintenance phase, when you're maintaining your business, you're not trying to acquire anything, that's fine. You're able to take a loss. You're able to take zero profit. You're able to take a loss. So think about it, $60 million in tax credits is what Celadon has been getting for years. Nothing wrong with that at all. However, the mistake that they made is they now transitioned from the maintenance stage to the growing stage. So what happened is that the way that it, it, it got caught up for them was that they were trying to get funding through shareholders. Now, when your business is public, now, if you are a owner operator or you have a small fleet you, and you don't have any stock options and you don't have any people to answer to, then you're fine. You don't have to worry about this at all. But when you have um, stock um, holders and you have people who you have to answer to, then what happens is that you have to give them your, your, your quarterly um, annual income. Now, this is the problem. Celadon got into some issues last year and they 
needed to get some loans and some funding and get financing. And when they wanted to get some loans, get funding and financing, what happened is that then you begin to fill out orig loan origination documents. Now, remember, uh, if you're enrolled into any of my courses or any of my teachings, I explain that there are two types of loan. One loan is a stated loan where you state the income. The other one is verified where you verify the income. So I want everybody, if you're with me right now, I want everyone to say verified, okay? Say verified. So what happened is the problem is that the, the COO and the CFO cooked the books. And what they did was one year they said that um, the company had 60 millions in gains. Then the next year they said the company had 60 million in losses. And then they had to verify that information for the stockholders and for the loans. And when they went to try to verify the information, that's when they got in trouble. So it's very important for you to understand when you're in the building phase, which is where 90, 98% of all the clients who watch me, 98% of all of you guys that are watching me are trying to build a business and go into a business. And a lot of you guys always ask, well, what about taxes? Don't worry about taxes. Okay. Don't worry about taxes. You want to put the right energy in the right place, not the right energy in the wrong place. When you're trying to take a loss or when you're trying to break even, when you do that, what you're doing is you're stopping yourself from being able to get funding. All right. If you knew that, I want you to say knew that. If you didn't know that, I want you to say didn't know. So let me break it down to where it is in your life. So let's say, for instance, if you are a owner operator and let's say um, you bringing in. 200,000 gross. And at the end of the year, you say that you break even. We know you got 200,000. Now we know out of that 200,000 is not all yours. Honestly speaking, you bring in 200,000 gross. At the end of the day, you can easily say that 70,000 is profit, right? But you don't want to pay taxes on 70,000. So what you do is you take a loss. Now, when you're going to try to purchase a home or when you're trying to go purchase a car or when you're trying to get funding and when the underwriters look at your bank statements, they see the 200,000 coming in. That's a good thing. But then when they look at your tax return and when you take a loss or when you break even, then we have to say, sorry, sir. You don't make 200,000. You don't make 70,000. According to your tax records, it shows that you don't make any money. So you don't qualify. I tell this story all the time. I had a client and had a client when I was in the mortgage industry. He um, imported and exported cars. He was from Jordan, Jordan, Africa. And he was so upset and so frustrated because he had a $500,000 house and he couldn't refinance his mortgage because on paper he didn't make any money. He was like, I have, he was like, I have more, more money than this around my house with, with everything that I got. And he was like, I got $200,000 cash right now in my vault. Why can't I, 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 I uh, refinance my home? And I was like, well, sir, unfortunately on paper, you don't make any money because you took a loss. So that's why it's important for you to understand the season of entrepreneurship you're in. So if you're in the building phases where you're still acquiring things, don't worry about them little taxes. OK, don't I promise you, don't worry about them little taxes. So what we did for him, um, for that client, this is way this is way before I was ever um, a business consultant. I was just a, a mortgage broker. So what we did was we pulled his 4506T and a 4506T allows you to actually it's an actual transcript from the um, IRS. And then what happened is that we had him to do an amendment to his taxes so that it showed that he made enough money so that he could refinance. And then what he did after that, got some counseling, then took another loss. And that way it wiped out the taxes. OK, so if you guys understand that and you get that, I want you to say get it. All right. If you if you get it, I want you to say you get that. OK, if you have questions about that, call up. If you have questions about that, call up um, when I am um, when I open up the phone lines and we can talk about it. All right. So that's basically the issue that happened with Celadon. All right. That's the issue that happened with Celadon. Now let's talk about the next trending topic. OK, let's do a temperature check before we get into the next trending topic. Let's see where we are. Let's see how many people we got watching live. All right. And let's see how many people we have. Um, we have one hundred and fifty two people watching live. 
All right, let's see how many thumbs up we got. All right, we only have 74 thumbs up. Come on, guys, another 25 thumbs up, and I'll go ahead and open up these phone lines, guys, so we can take your phone calls live on the air. So we can take your phone calls live on the air. Who's the first person to say get it? Get it was Jorge Rodriguez. Jorge, thanks so much for participating, Jorge. I see you. Um, Renee Spence says she gets it. Thank you so much for participating, Renee. I appreciate you guys. I am feeding off of your energy, guys. I'm feeding off of your energy. So, all right. Now, did you guys learn something? So, I'm, I like the doing the, the trending topic, the breaking news of things you can, you can, you can use because... Um, it's important for you guys to understand how things relate to you. And we talk about a lot of things that are entertainment related and, and the conscious community and, and different things like that. But I want to start doing things that are, are more relevant to you and use it as opportunities to teach so you can see it. So if you guys like that, you guys like the, that format, you guys like how we're doing that. All right, guys, 24, 25 more likes and I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone lines, guys. All right. All right. Let's see. All right, open up the phone lines. We got a lot of haters in the building today. Remember, text the word funding 101 to 833-934-1328. If you are watching this on the replay and you did not get the notification, if you make sure you, by texting funding 101, um, we're going to make sure that we add you to our VIP list so you have access to any time we go out live and we're going to send you a free training just for joining that VIP list, okay? All right, so Felicia Perry says, you like that. Thank you so much, Felicia Thank you for participating. All right, you got a question for me? Um, Scott, make sure you call in when I open up the phone lines. Passive income trucker is Scott Davies. Make sure you open, make sure you um, call in when I open up the phone line, Scott. All right, so trucker B11 says that you like it. Victoria said that she likes it. Thank you so much for that. So let's go to the next trending topic. Did you guys hear about Juice World? If you guys know who Juice World is, I want you to say you know him. Two words, know him. If you don't know who he is, I want you to say don't know. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. My baby's watching right now. Um, she knew about Juice World a year ago. I haven't the slightest. I did not know who Juice World was. Um, Juice World passed away yesterday um, at the age of 21 years old. And I am going to talk about the real reason why um, Juice World passed away. So I am not going to, I'm going to talk about the real reason why Juice World passed away. So they're waiting for the, toxo tox the toxology reports and the, and the coroner. I'm going to break it down and tell you guys the real reason why Juice World passed away. I'm going to break it down. So... Juice World is a young guy, 21 years old, artist that unfortunately um, passed away. Um, and there, people are saying, speculations are saying it's drug related. I'm going to tell you the real reason why Juice World passed away. Now, um, when Juice World did pass away, the um, FBI did an investigation on his private jet because the way Juice World died was he died from a seizure. It, the report stated that he had a seizure and he had blood coming from his mouth and he was not able to recover. A lot of people are assuming that it's a drug related seizure. Now, what happened is on Juice World's private jet, this is Juice World's private jet. These are our photos taken from um, TMZ. Um, does their does their thing and this is his suitcases okay now let me tell you what tmz is is alleging okay juice world allegedly popped pills before his seizures the feds find 70 pounds of marijuana on juice world's jet all right the private jet juice world flew on to chicago was loaded down with 70 pounds of marijuana and cops say people on the plane told them that the rapper popped several pills before um, suffering his seizure. All right. Now, if you guys pay attention, like I am a fan of Rick Ross. A lot of people say I look like Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge fan of Rick Ross. Rick Ross was having seizures on his private jets. And that's what made him start to lose a lot of his weight. Another person who was having issues and having seizures um, on by flying was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was having seizures as well by flying because he was 
on codeine and promethazine. Now, watch this. Now, law enforcement, law enforcement tells CMZ that FBI um, confiscated this huge stash of weed from several suitcases that were on, the, that were on board the flight. We obtained photos of the marijuana and luggage in the private jet terminal at Midway. According to law enforcement, several members of Juice World's team aboard the flight, which landed around 1 a.m. Sunday, told Juice World, told them that Juice World had taken several unknown pills prior to his seizure, which um, led him to go into convulsions. Okay. Now, Juice World had admitted abusing lean, which is promethazine, um, codeine cough syrup. Um, he also admitted being on Ritalin as a child, Adderall as a child on Breakfast Club. Um, he had been taking prescription pills like Proset. I didn't know. I don't even know what that is. What Peroset is. I don't know what that is. Um, his cause of death has been deter has not been determined. The Cook County Medical Examiner will conduct an autopsy on Monday. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you and everybody what Cook County needs to know. The reason why Juice World passed away is because his money and his fame amplified his issues. It did not solve his issues. The number one best-selling book of all time says that money answereth all things. Yes, it does. Once you have the proper guidance, all right? This is the problem that a lot of these people, a lot of these rappers and a lot of these young celebrities are facing is that they don't know how to cope and deal with their issues. I am on Instagram a lot and people, a lot of people hit me up on Instagram um, and they're like, oh, you know, I, there's a lot of young people that hit me up on Instagram and they, oh, ding, you know, <clears throat> you the big homie. You know, you know, I want to be successful. I want to be financially free. I want to be financially secure. A lot of them hit me up on Instagram and um, a lot of times they say, oh, I just want to be rich or I just want to be famous or I want to be like you. I want to travel the world. A lot of them hit me up on Instagram and say the same exact things or they say, oh, I just I'm just I'm just tired of being broke. I'm tired of working at, uh, at KFC or I'm tired of working for somebody else. I just want to be rich. Let me explain something to you. Money is an amplifier. If you have issues right now, money will amplify your issues. Now, let me explain. Issues are separate from problems. There's a difference, okay? If you guys are with me, you guys are, 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 are understanding what I'm saying, I want everyone to say issues versus problems. Two, three words, issues versus problems, right? Watch this. Money answers all things. Money answers all of your problems. If you have a problem like you can't pay your rent, you can't pay your bills, you can't pay your child support, or you can't afford to, um, to um, buy clothes for yourself or your kids, or you have car issues, or you have a problem with your, your job and you want to um, get a, a better education and go back to school, those are problems. Those are things that can be solved with money. You have legal issues. Those can be solved with problems. I mean, those are problems. Those can be solved with money. Um, you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight or, you know, you're, you're tired of living in the hood or you're tired of, of feeling like you are stuck. Those are problems. Money can fix problems, but money cannot fix your issues. Issues are things like depression, anxiety, um, hallucination, paranoia schizophrenia, um, nymphomaniacs, um, struggling with your sexuality. If you're heterosexual and you're struggling as, and you are um, homosexual and you're struggling inwardly, these are issues that money cannot solve. You have to dive deep inside of yourself so that you can deal with your issues. Money is not going to fix all of your issues. There's some people right now that are getting married just because they want to not feel alone. I got some news to tell you, and I gotta get y'all gotta get close up on me with this one. I got some news to tell you. You can be married, have a wife, have kids, have a house full of people, and you can still feel alone. Your feeling of aloneness is a feeling of emptiness. 
Just because you get into a relationship with somebody does not fix your feeling of being alone. Loneliness is never a reason to get into a relationship. Depression, he overly medicated himself and he self-medicated himself to deal with a lot of the pain. If you listen to a lot of his music, his music says the exact same thing. His music breaks it down where he overly medicated himself to deal with, the, to deal with his issues. Money amplifies your issues. If you're dealing with your sexuality, if you want to... Now, there's nothing wrong. If you want to be homosexual, be homosexual. If you want to be bisexual, be bisexual. But if you're suppressing your, your urges because of some spirituality or because of social norms and you get a whole bunch of money thinking a whole bunch of money is going to fix it, the only thing a whole bunch of money is going to do is allow you to go and be with somebody of the opposite sex more discreetly and it's going to allow you to um, indulge in those things and you're having inner turmoil and there's so many people that commit suicide and take their own life because of the issues that they're dealing with. Your issues are not going to be solved by money. Problems can be solved by money, but issues cannot be solved by money. OK, if you guys get if you guys get it, I want you to say got it. If you guys learned something, I want you to say OMG, whether you learn something from Celadon or whether you learn something from the Juice World story. If you learn something, I want you to say OMG. Let's go ahead and look at these analytics and I'm going to open up the phone lines, guys, so we can um, let's open up the phone lines and see how we look at Let's see how we are looking and let's open up these phone lines, guys. Let's see how many people we got watching live and how many um, thumbs up. We have 126 people watching live, 110 thumbs up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and open up these phone lines, guys. I'm open up the phone lines. Um, call in 563-999-3627. Yep, 563-999-3627. I am taking your phone calls live. We're talking about all things business related. We're talking about credit restoration. We're talking about finances. We're talking about anything. I am giving out free coaching right now. We're opening up the phone lines. Call in. Make sure you hit, I think, the number three so that you can get in the queue. But I'm taking your phone calls five. 63-999-3627. And if you're watching this on the replay and you was like, Dean, I wanted to talk to you. I didn't know. I didn't get the notification. Text the word funding 101 to 833-934-1328. That's 833-934-1328. Text the word funding to 833-934-1328 so that that way you can catch me live the next time I'm live and you can get your free coaching, your free business coaching, your free business consulting. All right. How are we doing? Let's look at these comments. Let's see how we're looking at the comments, guys. You guys have questions. Now is the time to call in and answer. So a lot of people say, well, Dean, I got a quick question. I don't want to do consulting. I don't want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching or one-on-one -on -one consulting. This is the time for you to, to, to participate. I'm going to answer your questions. So a lot of you guys actually have questions about that. Let me show you guys while we're waiting for some people to call on the line. Um, some of you guys ask about one-on-one -on -one coaching and one-on-one -on -one consulting. All right. You guys want to know how can you talk to me? If you can't talk to me live and you just want some private one-on-one -on -one coaching and one-on-one -on -one consulting, um, we charge $250 an hour for non-students for one-on-one -on -one coaching. It is broken up. It's an hour session. It's one hour session or one-on-one. -on -one, and, um, if you ever want to contact us, it's an hour, $250 an hour for non-students, and we have private one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you want to get in contact with us, that is how you're able to do so with private one-on-one -on -one sessions. So um, we have several people just jumped on the phone lines. Boom. Let me open up the phone lines here. All right. So let's see who we got, who we got, who we got, who we got. All right. So let's start with the first caller. Let's go ahead and, and bring them on. Let's bring them on. All right, 252421. Hey, caller, you are live on the air. Hey, Dean. Scott. Hey, Scott, how are you doing, my man? Passive income truckers in the building, Scott uh, Davies. I just had a quick question. Yes, sir. Um, is, there a way to, is there a way to uh, self report to the business credit bureaus? That's a very good question. So, yes, um, if you want to self report, to Dun and Bradstreet and Experian Business, um, then you have to get their credit builder package. Uh, 
Now, if you get the credit builder package, the credit builder package, um, they, they, they range in value. Sometimes they're twelve hundred. Um, sometimes they're fifteen hundred. It all depends. Actually, Dun and Bradstreet got into trouble because they were doing some gouging when it came to um, their their credit builder services. Now, what happens is that when you have a business, and if you want to report, that company needs to be available to provide all of your business information the moment that Dun & Bradstreet will call to get them to report. And this is a fee that you have to pay every 12 months in order to get them to report. So not all companies do report, but if you do get a company to report, then you will have to continue to pay that credit builder package in order for it to maintain on your business profile. This is a very good question. What company is it that you're trying to get to report? What is it that you're trying to get to report, Scott? Uh, my truck lease. Okay. All right, you trying to get your trust your truck lease payment? Go ahead. Yeah, it's through was it's through Wasatch leasing. They didn't run a they didn't run a credit check, but they don't report. That's they don't report. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want your payments to report, the way that you can there are two ways you can make your payments report. One way you can make your payment report is by doing that, getting the credit builder package. The other way that you can get your business um, payments to report is to use your business credit card to make your lease payments. I know what your lease payments are, they're automatically taken out of your, your um, settlement every month, right? Every week, correct? No, they're taken out straight from my business bank account. Okay, well, if uh, they're... They do have my credit card on file as a, they do have my credit card on file as a backup, so you had to do it automatic ACH. That's right, to get started. Credit cards. That's right, so to get... get backup. Yes, sir, so to get started, they want you to have it ACH but they do have your business credit card as a backup. So the best thing I would suggest that you do is to contact the office and let them know that you're using, you're gonna use your business credit card from here on out. And every time they take that payment through your business credit card, you're able to do two things with that. The first thing you're able to do with that is once your, your payment comes out, you then turn around and make your payment. When you make your payment, that's helping your payment history with your business card. That's the first thing. The second thing is when you take those 12 months that you have, you're gonna print out your payment, you're gonna print out your payment history, then you're able to upload that to Dun & Bradstreet as something that's called a trade reference. So you can upload that as a trade reference. And so when you're going through um, financing or you're trying to get some working capital from private lenders or working capital from some um, other credit unions, then it will report to Dun & Bradstreet without you having to pay anything extra. It will report to Dun & Bradstreet as a trade reference as well as it will report to Dun & Bradstreet through making those payments. So I appreciate it. So how you liking the um, how you liking the um, the new the new flow? How you liking the new the new flow of things with the that breaking news in the beginning? How you liking that? mention the CFO and the COO. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I definitely was going to break it down. You know how I teach. I, I give it, I go all the way in detail teaching it. <laughs> well, Scott, I appreciate yeah, you I'm so much. Watching this news all weekend. So on this, um, it's the biggest bankruptcy in trucking in the trucking industry in history. Yep. It's the biggest bankruptcy in trucking industry. Over 4,000 individuals lost their jobs. Listen guys, if you are watching and you're part of the trucking industry, this is a time for you to step out on faith and get your own business. Like, for instance, Scott Davies, who just called in. Scott is a client of mine for over three years. Scott has a video on my YouTube channel. He and I talking about how he went through bankruptcy himself. Scott Davies um, has built over $150,000 in business credit. And he did all of that after filing bankruptcy. And so... If he can do it, you can do it as well. So if you go to my YouTube channel and click on the playlist, as a playlist that's called Success Stories, and on Success Stories, you'll be able to see that um, you'll be able to see that video of Scott. And if you're a trucker, if you're in the trucking industry, this is the time for you to use this as a wake up call because those four thousand people, they're not helping them. You have to help yourself. So if you need the assistance, I'm here to help you and just do the best that you can to step out on faith because now is the time. I am taking your phone calls, guys. 919-825, you are on the air. Hey, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
919 Hey, Jamel, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> I, I, I'm calling because I'm a student of yours. I've been okay. enrolled in um, the startup coaching since about March. Okay. But I, I I went through a time period where I wasn't able to, you know, to worry about that. I had to take care of other things. Yep, it's the vicissitudes and of I, entrepreneurship. It I, happens, boss. It happens all the time. All right. Tell me about it. <laughs> so I'm I'm definitely interested in your program. I'm still a student. I got it reestablished um, back in November. That's awesome. What I'm calling thing, I, I appreciate it. What I'm calling about, what, first, of, first of all, I want to say I appreciate you because one, you're a man of your word. Second, you, you don't take what you do lightly. No, sir. You know what I mean? And on top of and, and you try to help people, you, know, you help many people, you know, it, it, that goes without saying. I was calling because I'm a student of your startup coaching, and I, I know that I, I um, originally started in March. I got to reestablish some uh, in November. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know if, um, how long does it actually take? Does it actually take four months to get through? The startup culture program or like if i went through and did the videos like you know each and every day can i go ahead and get that over and done with that's and a, get my business set up within like a month that's a very good question or two. So the startup coaches for all of you guys that are watching and you're not sure what um and what's your name my man you said jamel Okay, so for all of you guys are watching and you're not sure what Jamel is talking about, we have our startup coaching. Our startup coaching is an online course that walks you step by step through the process of being able to build your business, structure your business the proper way. It is an online course with an online community. It's not go at your own pace. It's go at a reasonable pace. <laughs> so um, it's $99 a month for 12 months. Now, when you are enrolled in the startup coaching and you go through the monthly tuition, then it, it, it does take you four months to get all the way through. However, there is an option for the accelerated course. The accelerated course is a one time fee of $1,000 and you will have access and you can go at your own speed. So if you go through the accelerated course, you can go at your own speed. Is um, one time fee of a thousand dollars. However, when you go through the accelerated course, I have to, like you mentioned, I'm very, um, very matter of fact about our business. It voids out your hundred percent money back guarantee for funding. So when you're enrolled in the startup coaching, you're guaranteed twenty thousand dollars in funding. Because like Jamel mentioned, we walk you step by step. So even though you're not physically talking to me one on one, um, you have an online community and you have detailed videos that walk you step by step. You have tests and resources to guarantee you get your results. So because of the accelerated course, we don't walk you step by step. We give you the information. We allow you to go at your own pace and you can do that. It's a one-time fee of a thousand dollars and you can go all the way through, but it does avoid your money back guarantee. However, if you are good at studying and you're good at, at taking on information, most people end up getting $50,000 in funding anyway. So you've been enrolled into the course. So how do you like it? So for the in people who are watching who might be considering thinking about taking a course, um, how do you like I know I, obviously I think you don't you don't like the fact that it, it takes you every few every few days and make you stop. The reason why is because it's designed to, to learn and do. I want you to learn it and do it right then and there so that you can accomplish what you need. So what are your thoughts about it, Jamel? Give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. What are you thinking about the course? <laughs> Give it to I me straight now. I, I think it's pretty good. I, I do. I'm, I'm serious. I, I think it's pretty good, hands down. I'm a veteran. I've, I've done online training. I've done, you know, online training with, you know, a few schools. And, you know, I've been taking advantage of at a um, business school that I was attending back when I was in El Paso after I got out of the Army. But... This, this is legit, and one thing that, that brought it to my attention was, I remember um, 
Tucker Brown and um, LaShawn Parks and everything, they were dealing with you. So that was what got me interested in the first place. I have a few ideas, and I know that this is going to help me reach my end term goal. Um, mm-hmm. The thing that I don't like about it mm-hmm. is the fact that... You got to get 100 on each test? No, no, not okay. even that, because I, I can deal with that. That's not okay. easy. <laughs> okay. You know I mean, it's, it's just it's, it's, it's just the fact that it actually takes four months versus like when you go on the college campus and your professor gives you like the syllabus and everything. You're like, all right, I'm cool. I can go ahead and knock this out mm-hmm. in like three weeks or whatever the case may be. They're like, no, 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 no. It don't take three weeks. It's going to take you about three months. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that I don't, I don't, I don't know if I don't get it or if I just don't like it, but you know, the information is legit. Hands down, put a stamp on it. Thanks so much for the for the vote of confidence, boss. Sure. Right, I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it done sooner than... Well, so these are your options. So, so these, so these are your three options. So these are your three options, Jamel. So the first option is you can take the accelerated course. The accelerated course lets you go at your own pace. I actually don't have any graphic for the accelerated course, and something told me to make a graphic for the accelerated course. But, but nevertheless, so you have some options. One, you can do the accelerated course. The accelerated course is the same thing as a startup coaching. It's just a one-time fee. And it allows you to go at your own pace. The second thing that you can do is you can do one on one consulting. Now, because you are a student and you're enrolled into the course, you get one hundred dollars off. So it's only one hundred and fifty an hour for you. But when you are a student, it's one fifty instead of two fifty an hour. And what that does is it allows you to have this one on one time. So you and I will sit down for an hour and we'll go line upon line, precept upon precept together. Um, we'll do it just like this video. We, we can either do a video or we can do it over the phone. Um, and I can guide you and direct you. If I, I don't do it, then a member of the team does. But um, most of the time, I'm doing all of the consultations right now. Um, and that's how you're able to go faster. Mo- like, for instance, Scott Davies, the gentleman who got 150000 in funding, Scott, every single month used to do one-on-ones with me as well as he went through the online course because with the online course is that the guy that, go ahead i'm sorry is, is that the guy is that the guy that had the um the the truck uh his trucking business he was like i don't like being cold no 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 <laughs> no that's not him no that's not him so scott davies is actually the gentleman i was okay. just talking to on the phone before you so scott davies he that's not him gotcha. he is um scott davies if you go on my youtube channel you could see um, a video where it says how he got $150,000 from funding. That's, um, that's him. Now, the thing about the startup coaching is that the startup coaching also, you get the 720 FICO coaching for free as a free bonus. That is the personal credit side of things. Right. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of people like to get the startup coaching because you get the 720 FICO coaching, which is your personal credit. You get that course for free. Um, So those are the options. So the first option is you can do the accelerated course. And I don't have a graphic for the accelerated course. Some told me to put one up or you could do one on one coaching or one on one consulting. And if you want to do the one on one coaching or the one on one consulting, then you just as you need it, we we work one on one together. Um, um, It stays 75K after what I say. It says 75K after bankruptcy. Okay. So passive income trucker says 75K after bankruptcy. Yeah. So that's the title of his video. He just made a comment in um, in the in the chat. Um, his name is PIT, a passive income trucker. It says 75K after bankruptcy. So yeah, Scott and I would talk on a regular basis often. So those are your options, my man. And I really appreciate the vote of confidence and keep up the good work, my man. Don't get too frustrated. Don't be so hard on yourself. I sent out a note today to all of my clients and my um, mentees not to be so hard on themselves because a lot of times I hear people say, oh, I'm behind the eight ball or people will say, oh, I, um, I don't, I, I got so much I need to do and don't rush yourself. It is a journey. It's not a, am I reconnected? All right, I'm reconnected successfully. All right, we had an issue, but we back. 
All right, you guys, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? If you can hear me, I want you to say hear you. If you can see me, it's out again. All right, we'll be back up. All right, we reconnected successfully. All right. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, are we reconnected? Let's see, are we, we back? All right, guys, we're about to get ready to go live. Are you ready? Do you have your question? Asked? Let's see, are we back up? Let's see. Your question below in the chat. Let's see, are we are back, back up? up? Did you share this? Did you share stop this streaming. We're good. Can you, can you guys hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Can you share this on Instagram. Are you ready? I got one, two. Are you Yeah, we're back. We are back. We had some technical difficulties, but we are back. We back at it. We are back at it. Let's see who is all in the building. So let's see. We back in the chat. Do me a favor. If you guys can are watching, I want everyone to hit that like button right now. And I want you to hit that share button again. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Twitter. Share it one more time. Let's get back to where we was at. We had 150 people watching live. We're down to 62 now because of our technical difficulties. There is some vicissitudes, some vicissitudes, vicissitudes of living in the Dominican Republic. I absolutely love the fact that I live in the Dominican Republic. But these are this is one of the things that I don't like about living in the Dominican Republic is the vicissitudes of, of streaming. Um... I'm actually going to update, continue. Let's see. I'm going to update the um, our service. Uh, let's see. Let's get you guys back in and let's get these phone lines back open up. Let's open these phone lines back up again. All right. You guys can hear me okay. If you can hear me and you're watching in the chat, I want you to say hear you loud and clear. If you can hear me, I want you to say hear me. If you can hear me, I want you to say, hear me. All right. All right. We are good. And we're back and we're Gucci. All right. Let me see. If you guys can hear me, I want you to say, hear you. All right. I'm taking your phone calls, guys. The phone lines are still open. And we're going to finish what we started. The devil is a lie. Let's see how I'm sounding. Yep, you can hear me. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm taking your phone calls. All right, guys. Here, we're taking your phone calls. 540-628. Hey, caller. Um, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hey, caller. You're on the air. 540-628. Can you hear me, caller? You're on the air. All right, let's see. All right, caller, can you hear it? Hey, caller, 540-628. Caller, can you hear us? Can't hear you. All right, guys, <laughs> I don't know what happened with that caller, but the phone lines are open. 563-999-3627. Taking your phone calls. I'm going to take a couple more phone calls and I'm going to let it go. Let's see. Take a couple more of your phone calls. And I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. But all right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pop this chat out. It says that the stream is good. It says that we're good. Boom. All right. We looking good. All right, we're taking your phone calls. 563-999-3627. That is 563-999-6327. I'm going to take a couple more phone calls. I'm going to take a couple more phone calls. Let's see. Make sure that we're good. Direct connect. Let's see. Leave site. No, we're good. Okay, okay, we're good. we Gucci. All right, take a couple more of your phone calls. Now, while we're waiting for a couple people to call in, um, <clears throat> while we wait for a couple people to call in, I just want to thank you guys so much for you guys, uh, for your support. Um, right now we're averaging around 150 to 200 people watching live. I'm believing God that we get to a thousand people watching live. I want a thousand people watching live. We have 
over 30, we're, at, we're about to be at 30,000 subscribers. We're at 29,600. So I'm very excited for that. So you guys clap it up for a round of applause for that in the, in the chat. Um, I appreciate guys for your support. And I am believing till we get to the point to where we have over a thousand people watching us live. That's what I'm confessing that by this time next year, we're going to have over a thousand people watching live. Hey, caller 314-393. Hey, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Hello, caller. You are on the air. 314-393. Let's see. Let's do this again. Caller, you are on the air. All right, let's go ahead and put that caller back on hold. Let's see what's going on. I know that I see everything is green. Everything is lit up green. And this episode, oh, let's continue the episode. Let me see. Give me a moment, guys. Let's try this one more time. Here we go. Give me a moment. Here we go. Here we go. Start your show now. Press 1. To hear important instructions, press 2. Okay, can't hear. Can you hear now? Look like we had some technical difficulties, but you know, the vicissitudes of entrepreneurship. <laughs> so listen, we had some issues. We just going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, can you hear me now? If you guys enjoy it, lost voice audio crash. Yeah, we, we had some issues. That's one thing that's unfortunate about being in the Dominican Republic. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love it. But from time to time, this does happen. So let's go ahead and see how we are looking on my side to see how we're looking. Let's see how we are looking. All right, let's see. Come on now. I appreciate the ad, but let's see. Does Okay, so we're good. So we can hear me now. All right, good stuff. So I am. I'm. I'm. I had to take take the phone lines down because we was trying to connect the people and was having issues. But if you guys enjoyed this, if you enjoyed the format, if you if you learned something and you enjoyed it, let me know. I'll talk with you guys. If you have questions, I can answer. I answer three of your questions. Um, right now, I answer three of your questions right now. So I'll answer the next three. If you guys have a super chat, super chat gets priority. I answer any three of your questions that you have right now. Um, but it doesn't matter the dollar amount. The purpose for the super chat is just so it could blow up and I can see. I'm going to answer three of your questions, guys. So if you are watching on the replay and I appreciate you guys and you didn't get a chance to, um, to call in, make sure that you 
text the word funding 101 to 833-934-1328 funding 101 text to 833-934-1328 to make sure that you are put on our exclusive um list and whenever we're live whenever we have a free um courses or whatnot that is how we send it out you're on our vip list and if you um want to enroll into any of our courses and you want to know how we can help so the way that we're able to help you are multiple different ways so our startup coaching is what most of our clients are in the gentleman that called in um he talked about him being in the startup coaching scott davies who has accumulated over 150,000 in funding um, out of his bankruptcy is in the startup coaching. When you're enrolled into our startup coaching, you also get the 720 FICO coaching for free. You get that as a free bonus. <laughs> um, roll, roll that tape. What's going on? Um, um, what's going on? Roll that tape. What's going on? Um, <laughs> what's going on, man? How you doing? He used to be called Sasua. He changed his name to roll that tape. <laughs> he changed his name to roll that tape. What's going on? So nevertheless, like I mentioned, guys, um, the startup coaching, it is $99.95 a month for 12 months. Um, you get a free bonus. It's 720 FICO coaching, which is your free bonus. Richie Rich, make sure you do me a favor, man, and share this in all the groups. And um, Roll That Tape is a really good channel for you guys to subscribe to. So the 720 FICO coaching is our free course that walks you step by step through the process of repairing and restoring your own credit. That is a free bonus that we give you when you're enrolled into the startup coaching. If you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, we're able to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you are a non-student and you don't want to enroll into the course, or maybe you're already advanced and you just want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you don't have to enroll into the course. You can get one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's $2.50 an hour for non-students. When you are a student enrolled into the course, you get it at a discount of um, $150 an hour. Um, if you say, well, Dean, you know what? I want you to help me. I want you to be my mentor. I want you to help me. I want to have time with you to talk to you. And I want you to walk me step by step. I want you to personally mentor me. If that's what you're wanting, then you can do our five-hour strategy session. A five-hour strategy session is five sessions. It's five one-on-one -on -one sessions where no matter what the issue is, I'm going to do everything in my power, give you all of my resources, and everything that's available for you, for you to overcome whatever the issue is, whether it's a nonprofit that you need to get grant funding for, if it is a for-profit business you want to get funding for, this is a strategy session. It's going to take multiple times, multiple issues. This is something that you need a lot of help with, that you want to make sure that you're able to get what you need. The five-hour strategy session is available for you. It's um, five sessions. So it's basically... Five sessions would normally be 1,250 for non-students, but you're getting, you're paying for four sessions up front. You get the fifth session for free, which is the five hour strategy session. When you are a non-student, when you are a student, it's even more expensive, more inexpensive. It's only 750 when you are a student enrolled into the course. So that's the other way that we're able to help you. That's if you want my one-on-one -on -one personal help, um, you're able to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, which is 250. Or you can do the five-hour strategy session, which is four sessions, and the fifth session is free. Um, or if you say, you know what, Dean, I just want your company to create a company for me. So we have something that's called Ironclad Corporation, where we create a holding company for you in five business days. So let's say if you are um, hired on at a company and you are owner operator and you are sole proprietor or you're doing a doing business as and you want to convert over to a corporation or an LLC so that you can start to build business credit and you just want to get a business checking account, an EIN number and just have a, a business in a business. We can create that for you in five business days. That's called our Ironclad Corporation. It's 750 one time fee and we create a holding company for you just like that in five business days. In that, you will receive a million dollar in stock evaluation for your company. You will receive a business checking account, a S Corporation EIN, as well as we create your articles of corporation and your articles of organization for you. We create that for you. All right. It's five business days. That is if you just want us to create 
a holding company for you. And then the last option is our corporate build out. Our corporate build out has been extremely popular. Our corporate build out is where this is a business done for you. You're guaranteed $50,000 in funding. All right. $50,000 in funding guaranteed because our professionals do everything for you. So with the um, corporate build out, it is a one time a deposit of $1,000, then four payments of $5,000, which is $3,000 in total. We do everything for you with the corporate build out. What you do is confirm and verify. The corporate build out comes with 10 30 minute sessions with members of our team just to confirm everything that we do. And it also includes one on one time with me. All right. The corporate build out. We do everything for you. We create your company. We create your bylaws. We create your articles of incorporation. We create your EIN number for you. We get a business checking account for you. We create your business website. We um, index your business website in the um, underwriting guidelines for the banks. We create your DUNS number for you. We get an 80 paydex for you. You open up your initial startup vendors and you go all the way to corporate credit cards. We build and do everything for you. We create your email address, um, your, e yeah, your email address, your business phone number, your business address. Everything is done for you. So the corporate build out is a, a business in a box. The entire process takes anywhere from four to five months. Our entire team builds everything for you. And it also, like I mentioned, comes with five one hour sessions or 10 30 minute sessions, depending on how advanced you are on your journey. A lot of clients that were enrolled in our startup coaching, they upgraded to the corporate build out. And because they're so advanced, we break the sessions down into 30 minute sessions. OK, so those are the different ways that our company is able to assist you. If you guys have asked how we're able to assist you, those are the different ways that we're able to assist you. And if you want our free courses and you want our free lessons, text the word funding 101 to 833-934. What's that word? It's um, 83. Yeah, let's get back. Let's see that again. It's still new for me. <laughs> text the word funding 101 to um, 833-934-1328. That is 833-934-1328. All right, guys, what questions do you have for me? Let's see if I'm able to answer any of your questions, guys. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. What questions do you guys have for me? All right. So Willie um, says that I'm a foster parent trying to open up more homes for kids. That is a very good thing, Willie. So you, you being a foster parent, wanting to open up more home for kids is phenomenal. Even though what you're doing is philanthropic and it still is a business and you need business structure and we can help you build your business and get your business structure. And I apologize that the phone lines went out, Willie. I, 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 I hope that you were one of the ones that called in. I would love to have talked with you. The next time I'm live, make sure you catch me live, Willie. And don't play no games. Catch me live. Next time I open up the phone lines, you need to be the first person calling in, Willie. I would love to talk with you about that. All right. So um, Brian says that I need the corporate build out. Sign me up. All right, Brian, if you want to do the corporate build out, sir, um, wait till this video goes up. I'm going to pin a comment at the top of the screen or maybe my admin might might do it. My admin is dropping the wrong link. Actually, she's dropping the wrong link. All right. Let me get the right link so you guys can know. Bear with me for one moment. My admin um, was dropping the wrong link. Let's let's get the right link out there, admin. Hmm. It's okay. The vicissitudes of entrepreneurship. Who happens actually to be one of my assistants? Um, she's done a very good job of keeping the trolls off my back. So I can't expect. It. I mean, she did a phenomenal job of keeping the trolls off my back. She did a great job with that. So let me go ahead and drop that link right now. Um, and if you guys are watching on the replay, there's a, a, a comment pinned at the top that has all of the links. So if you want to do the corporate build out, where is the corporate build out? All right, here's a corporate build out. All right, so here's the corporate build out. So 
let me go ahead and drop this link in the call. So, Brian, here you go, Brian. This is the link that will take you directly to the corporate build-out. All right? And there you go. Thank you very much, Io. Yes, so um, DeanCodeCoaching.com is the website. And if you want to go and sign up for the corporate build-out, that is where you go to sign up for the corporate build-out. All right? Um, Mario Caldwell says, does the corporate build out include three or four um, credit tiers? Yes, um, Mario, we take you all the way up to $50,000 in business funding. And that includes corporate credit cards as well as working capital and um, bank loans. So that takes you all the way up to three and four. After that, all you have to do is get corporate leases. You'll be good to go. And then just 10x it. Just maintain it and 10x it. Yes, Mario, it does. All right. All right, guys, I am going to call it a night. I'm going to, I appreciate you guys for watching me. If you guys learned something new and you like this, make sure that you share this with someone else. Make sure that you um, share this with your friends. Share this with your business partners. Share this in your group chat. I want you to share this information. Like I said, so far, I think we had like 150 people watching live at one point. My goal is I'm believing God that we get to the point where we have a thousand people watching live. And I know that comes from consistency from me. And um, we are going to be upgrading this Internet services <laughs> um, because they have Fios in this area now. So now that I'm back, I was actually in the U.S. I was in Houston. I went from Houston to Detroit to New York to um Houston again. No, no, to New York. I was on, I was on a, I was on a mini world tour. <laughs> I was on a mini world tour and now I am back live in action. And listen guys, make sure that you subscribe and after you subscribe, hit that notification bell so the next time I'm live, you can participate with me. Listen, the only person stopping you from being successful is you. If you don't have a mentor yet, I will be your mentor. If you don't have a mentor yet, you can meet them. If you don't have the character, you can develop it. If you don't know how to do it, you can learn it. Go get them. Success is waiting for you. Life Jesus.